chest x-ray interpretation here is uh, another chest x-ray and first thing that you notice on this x-ray is that the right hemidiaphragm is significantly raised it should be somewhere here normally other than that both claustrophenic angles are normal uh, there's no sign of paratracheal or hilar lymphadenopathy on the visible quality lungs grossly look normal no mouth lesion is identified within lung parenchyma or within mediastinum if the right hemidiaphragm was raised only by a centimeter to a centimeter and a half we would have considered it normal it is essential to remember that right hemidiaphragm is usually raised by a centimeter to a centimeter and a half as compared to left hemidiaphragm this is because liver which is under right hemidiaphragm takes more space as compared to spleen and stomach on the left uh, under the left hemidiaphragm and pushes the right hemidiaphragm up slightly uh, liver not only pushes the right hemidiaphragm up but also pushes the right kidney down so if you notice a right kidney slightly lower than the left kidney on an abdominal x-ray it is usually because liver is pushing it down which is considered normal uh, we have seen one such x-ray before and I'm gonna show you that x-ray once again in a minute and when we discuss the possible reasons of raised hemidiaphragms uh, those reasons were number one atelectasis means collapse of lung uh, which this x-ray does not show any sign of although medullob uh, collapse can sometimes be very difficult to see on a PA or an AP view certain infections uh, can cause loss of lung volume for example tuberculosis again no sign of uh, infection in these lungs enlarged liver because of any reason can push the diaphragm up as was the case with this patient this patient had a CT scan of the abdomen which is here on your right hand side and you can see a big encapsulated mass in liver this part of the liver is also not normal uh, the mass is big enough to push the diaphragm up so this is right hemidiaphragm which is visible here and this is left hemidiaphragm which is visible here the mass is also pushing the heart away towards the left hand side this is spleen this is oral contrast in the stomach this is oral contrast in colon we will discuss uh, uh, the type of masses uh, in liver uh, at some other point in time this mass turned out to be a hepatocellular carcinoma and uh, histopathology can uh, place a, histopathology plays a big role in the final diagnosis phrenic nerve palsy was another reason to raise the diaphragm up phrenic nerve arises from C3, C4 and C5 and passes through the thorax uh, to control the movement of a diaphragm. Phrenic nerve palsy uh, can be caused by trauma for example. It can also be a result of tumor as in this case. So this is a big uh, mass uh, in right uh, upper lobe uh, and it is causing phrenic nerve palsy and you can see the raised hemidiaphragm as a result. Liver in this case is normal. Phrenic uh, nerve palsy is also a rare complication of rigid bronchoscopy. Another uh, reason of uh, raised hemidiaphragm was subphrenic abscess as in this case this is the exit that we have seen previously and we have discussed that uh, the diaphragm is clearly visible and there is an air fluid level under right hemidiaphragm and this was uh, a result of subphrenic abscess uh, and this subphrenic abscess was caused by a ruptured uh, appendix the video has been recorded uh, for academyofprofessions.com 
and these are the references thank you very much